I'd like to dedicate this Western Sunrise morning walk with Jerome to Yiz the Eunuch, whose wonderful Morning Walks with Yiz series inspired me to do this walk and this video. Uh, Yiz, I was thinking of you in light of uh, the great stream visits you've been, streams you've been doing and visits you've been doing on streams I pay attention to and uh, in particular thinking you might enjoy this article that I came across. I'll put a picture of it up here but I won't say the words because of our friend AI. Uh, it's interesting how uh, how Cynthia, the case of Cynthia McKinney is an interesting one. She she was, uh, as you as you probably know, an outspoken congresswoman who uh, was so difficult for them because she spoke uh, against the anti-American narrative. I don't know how much she was aware of the anti-white nature of the narrative, but she was spoke out against the uh, anti-whites that call themselves globalists and especially against the ones calling themselves neocons and called out their scams. So during the uh, Bush era, they, they rigged her voting machines to steal the election from her. And uh, so she can be a case to appeal to the people on the left uh, to let them know it isn't just Democrats, the anti-whites calling themselves Democrats, who have used these voting machines to subvert the will of the people and replace it with the will of those who control the machines, but that it's been done by uh, high-level operatives in the Republican Party as well. So, continuing that tale of uh, Cynthia McKinney at a time when the uh, Democrat Party uh, person, Cynthia McKinney, the other candidate, was being cheated uh, in the vote counting by machines uh, controlled by the Republicans. That was back in, I think they finally got rid of her in 2006, 2004. You'll have to look, but more than 16 years ago, I believe this happened 14, 15, a long time ago, but already they were using rigged voting machines to force the outcome. Let's see what we can do with this exposure here. I really, uh, I really liked my newer camera better, but since the ocean claimed that one, this is what we have. It's still, it's even more beautiful, let's put it, than the camera shows. Anyway, so I'm not coming at this from a Republican, Democrat point of view. I'm, I think that's part of the, part of the con, part of the, the kabuki theater we're being presented with. I'd say it's about the power elite versus the the regular honest people. And if they don't like who the regular honest people are choosing, they will find some way to uh, overthrow that. And they really don't mind cheating in every way to do that. In fact, that's kind of the distinguishing feature of our power elite is that they they have a different moral code from what I can tell. They, they're, Jason likes to call them the uh, anti-whites, but they, 
They definitely don't have our white kind of moral code of fair play and honesty and truth. They're more about domination and they actually think it's a uh, it's some kind of badge of honor to uh, to succeed at cheating to succeed at deception so their their power is built on what uh, what those of us with my moral sensibilities would consider immoral actions but uh, but they they managed to justify it themselves and actually are like patting each other on the back for it having a good laugh at our expense and what suckers we are I'm sorry about that really noisy boat out of the ocean it sounds like a big diesel out there is uh, plowing across the ocean The last, the starlight of Venus is still shining, but this camera isn't able to pick it up all that well. So, it isn't just crooked Democrats. There are plenty of crooked people wearing the Republican skin suits as well. We have, uh, we have a, like a kabuki theater, and uh, and we need to know, and we need to figure out what to do about it. Anyway, that Uns article I I showed earlier is very uh, it's it gives a, a interesting perspective of why Cynthia McKinney, who you would call an extremely left person, uh, thought. She wrote an article in 2018 um, that it references in that article I showed you earlier, saying that the uh, the power elite were very upset with Donald Trump and gave her her left um, her populist left point of view on why he was so scary to them, and it does look like he is very scary to them because they've really pulled out the stops to get him and i make these videos thinking well maybe maybe some of my good-hearted people who have been uh influenced by the the media unwittingly to to hate trump could see that really maybe uh Maybe they're bent. Maybe he's not as bad as they think. If 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 the arch enemies of if the arch enemies of the regular people hate him so much, why is that? And and maybe it's because he hates us less. That's that's my working hypothesis. Is that. Uh, Donald Trump is hated because he's not anti-white enough. That's it. He's not anti-white enough to work out for them. They want someone more anti-white to push this extremely uh, anti-white agenda. Oh, I have to flip the camera here. So that's that's what I wanted to share is that uh, maybe the problem and, and and Cynthia McKinney seemed to think uh, well my interpretation of what she seemed to think is that Donald Trump was not doing the power elites agenda enough for them in fact he's he's seen as a big danger and and I think this is an exciting time because this election fraud theft thing 
alleged, of course, check with CNN and you'll learn whether there really is uh, anything like that happening. I'm, uh, I'm just reporting what these people are saying. Uh, I don't speak for YouTube. But the, uh, maybe, but, but the hypothesis I'm putting together here from all of this is that maybe he wasn't anti-white enough, and he isn't, and that's his big thing. Oh, and that's what the article really says.